so that you may compare the teachings of the Masonic Lodge with biblical teaching, I have asked former Worshipful Master, Mr. Jack Harris, to give us part of the actual ritual of the Lodge where he explained to the candidate about the three great lights of Masonry. What I have explained to you previously was an explanation of the letter G which you have found above the Master's chair. What I will give you now is actual ritual taught by every Masonic Lodge within the United States. The three great lights of masonry are the Holy Bible, the square, and the compasses. The Holy Bible we take for the rule and God of our faith, the square to square our actions, and the compasses to circumscribe our desires and keep our passions within due bounds. The three lesser lights are the sun, the moon, and the master of the lodge. As the sun rules the day and the moon governs the night, so should the worshipful master endeavor to rule and govern his lodge with equal regularity. Many of you are probably wondering what does Freemasonry really believe about the Bible? I would like to quote to you Albert Mackey, one of the world's greatest Masonic interpreters of ritual, says this in his book, Encyclopedia of Freemasonry, under the title of Bible. The Bible is used among Masons as a symbol of the will of God, however it may be expressed. And therefore, whatever to any people expresses that will may be used as a substitute for the Bible in a Masonic Lodge. Thus, in a Lodge consisting of Jews, the Old Testament alone may be placed upon the altar. And the Turkish Masons can make use of the Koran, whether it be the Gospel to the Christian, the Old Testament to the Jew, or the Veda to the Brahmin, it conveys the same idea, the will of God to man. I have trouble with this as a born-again Christian. For the Word of God tells me that there is only one way, one light, and one truth. But Freemasonry says that is not true. Freemasonry says the Koran, the Vedas, the Old Testament, the New Testament, or any scripture from any religion in the world is sacred and reveals truth and light. In all of their teachings, they talk about seeking light. But the Word of God tells me there's only one light, and that light is to be found in Jesus Christ. It also tells me the fifth chapter of 1 John that Gee, anyone who does not honor the Son does not honor the Father. Freemasonry, in their religious teachings, does not honor the Son. Second Corinthians uh, also tells us that there is an artificial light, Satan appearing as an angel of light. I find that the teachings of Freemasonry, accepting the uh, sacred writings of all religions in the world, leads men to a false hope and away from the person of Jesus Christ. That's why after 11 years serving as an officer in a Masonic Lodge, I left Freemasonry. 